These are my eight habits to adopt if you want to grow and become the best version of yourself in 2021. Without further ado, let's get into this. Number one, keeping a journal. If you are able to keep a journal where you can write down your feelings, your ideas, your thoughts, poetry, whatever it is, whatever comes into your mind, if you can put it down on a piece of paper, you will immediately feel like your mind has stilled up because you're taking what has been on your mind this whole time and you're putting it on a piece of paper. You're putting it down in your journal. And when you go back and you look at your journal and you see those ideas, you see those feelings, and you look back on how far you've come, especially with the rest of the habits I'm showing you, you will feel a great feeling of pride. You'll feel happy. You'll feel amazing. So keep a journal. Number two, reading. Start reading more books, all right? And I, I don't want you to go crazy. I don't want you to go and buy 10 new books and be like, I'm gonna finish this by the end of the month. No, even though the average CEO reads 60 books a year, which is basically one book a week since we have 52 weeks in the year, you should basically be reading at least 12 books a year. So one book a month. If you can pick a book that you really love, and it doesn't matter how hard, how difficult it is. You don't have to be reading Shakespeare. You don't have to be reading uh, Robert Greene. You can be reading something as simple as Harry Potter or Diary of the Wimpy Kid or anything. You can read something that's easy to read like Rich Dad, Poor Dad or Think and Grow Rich, whatever it is. Just read something that you love, something that's easy for you and something you can really just read quickly and put away. The more you read, the more knowledge you have in your head, which makes you both a more interesting person in general to speak with because people that know more are able to speak on more. And also it makes you somebody that is able to lead. So if you are able to read more books, my friend, you'll be able to have more knowledge in your head. Number three, make more time to do what you love. If you love soccer, make sure that you have a lot of time playing soccer. If you love exercising, gymming, make sure you have more time doing. If you love playing with fishes, make sure you go and do more of that. If there's anything that this pandemic has taught us, is that the lives we live every single day can be changed within a second. If you are somebody that has a passion, but you are too scared to do it, or you have something that you love doing, a hobby, whatever it is, my friend, before or if things get worse, you won't be able to do it, you know? So take the time you have now to do what you love. Speak to the people you love. Talk to your family, love people, and love doing what you love because God knows that some of these things might not be there tomorrow. Number four, start saving. Whatever you do, start saving some money. In fact, one of the first things David Ramsey or Dave Ramsey, if you go on YouTube and you search Dave Ramsey, he's a very uh, uh, intelligent uh, financial coach. He teaches people how to get out of debt and so on and so forth. He will tell you to create an emergency fund. This is basically the amount of money you keep in case of an emergency. You do not touch this money until an emergency that is completely, completely critical comes up and hits you in the face. Okay. So this can be your car breaking down. This can be uh, replacing a water heater, whatever it is. It's not because you want to go on vacation. It's not because you want to buy something for a family member. That is not what your emergency fund is for. So basically that you should be saving 40% of your income and 60% should go to other things. If you can save at least 20% of your income, the more time it takes, the more time that goes on, the higher and higher money you get or the more money you get. So start saving. Make sure that you save in order to be better tomorrow. Number five, start meditating more. Start praying more. Do whatever puts your mind into a state of oneness. If you can put yourself into a state where you are just focused on the present moment, you're not focused on what happened. You're not focused on what's going to happen because both of those are made up. What happened is gone and what's going to happen is made up. It's imagination. So if you can focus on the present moment, breathing, focus on when you wash your hands, can you feel every single sliver of water get in between your, your, your fingers and you feel every single moment you have, you feel the way you're sitting on your chair, you feel how you're breathing, you feel how much oxygen you have in your environment, okay? Maybe not that crazy, but just make sure you put yourself in a place where your mind isn't bombarded by thoughts that are very detrimental to where you wanna become or who you wanna become. Something beautiful that prayer does, no matter which religion you're in, is it lets you come to a place where you only want one thing, and that's more of God. Whoever you worship, God, in my case, is Jesus. If I get into a place where I am in, one, in oneness with the Spirit of God, then I am able to really focus in and I lose the thoughts of what has happened, what's going to happen, and I really find inner peace. Number six, get outdoors. If this pandemic has taught me one thing, 
That is, I need to spend more time outdoors. I need to go to the beach. I want to go hiking. I want to go play basketball with my friends. I want to go for walks with my dog. I want to be outside. I want to breathe in fresh air. Because being cramped in a tiny apartment or wherever you are, even in a studio right now, you know, it really works on you. It really plays with your head. There have been countless studies showing that people that are able to go outside and meet new people and breathe in fresh air have been on average happier in their daily life. So if you're able to go outside, get on, go out, uh, so if you're able to go outside, get outdoors and just be free, then my friend, you will see happiness multiplying in your life like crazy. Number seven, get more sleep. Get more sleep. A lot of us, we undermine the effect that little sleep has on our bodies. I'm sure you can see by my eyes, I barely sleep because I'm editing. And this is something I really need to adopt. If I can sleep more, you know, longer hours, you know, even if you sleep from uh, 10 o'clock to uh, 7 o'clock in the morning, you have filled yourself up with energy to do whatever you want to do. And that's something that I'm starting to do more and more of. Each day, I'm sleeping earlier and earlier because I know the benefits of sleep. Sleep will help you have a clearer mind. It'll give you clarity in everything you do. In fact, having more sleep will equate to having more energy, which may equate to being more efficient in everything you do. Whether this is your business, whether this is your financial life, whatever it is, it'll help you be more efficient. So get more sleep. You can even take natural sleep supplements or you can even create a sleep routine. Whatever it is, make sure that you're able to get that beauty sleep that every single one of my BUB Cool members need. Number eight, eat healthier. If you're able to eat in the morning things that aren't too hard to digest, you know, like steak, you can't have steak in the morning. It's too hard to digest. You'll just take energy from your day. Have something that's light. Have things that aren't very carb heavy. If you want to lose weight, the best, the best thing to do is calorie deficit diets, which is basically when you eat less. If you have to eat less, you'll lose weight faster. If you can intermittent fast, you'll lose weight faster. But basically, you just have to eat healthier. Make sure you cut on eating too much carb heavy things such as bread, pasta, whatever it is. Make sure that you cut on certain things like eggs. I mean, eggs are a very good source of protein, but then boiled eggs and stuff like that have a lot of sulfur in them, which makes you want to fart, okay? So if you're that kind of person, I don't mind. But personally, I don't like the feeling of like constantly farting and stuff because, you know, eggs, beads, all these things make you want to fart. And that's not a very pleasant person to be around. I'll link a source in the description with everything you need to know on how to start eating better. So my friend, you made it to the end of this video. I'm so proud of you. I thank you so much that you took your time out of this day in order to invest it in your growth. I thank you so much for clicking on this video. Make sure you go down to the subscribe, click subscribe, make sure you click the bell icon to see every time I release a video and make sure you focus on every single one of the habits I've put down for you. If you wanna see change, then my friend, you have to step out of your comfort zone and actually apply every single thing I spoke about. If you wanna speak directly to me, then click the link in the description below. I will speak to you, I promise you, I will get to you. I love you so much. Thank you for watching this video. Oh, one more thing I almost forgot. If you want to get a copy of every single thing I've learned in self-help, every single book that I've read, every single uh, article, every single source of knowledge that I've gotten and I've condensed into a 140 or so page book, then make sure you click the link in the description below and I'll send you to my website where you can sign up and get your free copy of my Project Life Mastery book. So without further ado, thank you for watching this video. This is AJ Lacau.